In northwest Colorado, hungry bands of Mormon crickets are on the move. But so too is the USDA's crack team of cricket catchers. They are Greg Sword, a research ecologist who spent over a decade studying these insects. Laura Senior, a botanist by trade recruited as a bug technician for this mission. And Patrick Lorch, a biologist with a knack for attracting crickets. These experts are out here trying to get up close and personal with one of the worst scourges in the West. The Mormon cricket has become notorious for its destructive invasions. With this many jumping around, it's not a job for the faint of heart. They sneak up on you too, like they might crawl up your pant leg and you don't feel it until they get all the way up to your neck and then they're, they're really big juicy insects so you kind of have to fight the urge to slap them or you'll get a whole bunch of juicy guts all over your neck. You got to watch out for that. <laughs> Miles of highway and millions of acres in a half dozen states have been blanketed by thick bands of big black insects. Although they are known as crickets, these insects are actually katydids, not true crickets. They don't fly, but can hop and crawl as much as a mile in a day, eating anything and everything. That's pretty intense, and you, I, even if you like insects, you would not want to sit down in the middle of that. Now Laura, Greg, and Patrick are trying to find a way to stay a step ahead of the crickets. They want to discover secrets about their behavior, so they are now bugging the bugs. They're gluing tiny radio transmitters onto the backs of a few lucky candidates. Then they follow the crickets across Colorado's rugged rangeland. Oh, I see it. It's right in this bush. Here she is. Good job. The crickets that have been tagged are tracked and then recaptured. They're weighed to see how well they're doing and then sent on their way. The idea, Greg says, is to get a fix on where bands of crickets move, how fast, and why. Once we've done that, we can develop models, mathematical models, that we can use to then predict for other bands in other parts of, of the western U.S. You know, potentially our ultimate goal is to help people, and that's what we all like to do. Historically, Mormon cricket infestations are bad for about three years in every decade. Greg's sword certainly isn't complaining. Stronger up here. I like it quite a bit. For me, it's hard to imagine that I actually have a job where I get to you know, work outside and chase insects as they run around in sagebrush. It's, I love it. 